Well, I had actually been to Finca Morpho, or the, the nomadic community, per se, um, at least four or five years in a row. And each time I came in a different capacity, simply because I was at a different place in my, my life or my personal development. Uh, initially, I just wanted to come just to be there. You know, it was almost like an interesting journey of uh, awakening, um, being there and consuming and not really being considerate of others or or zero waste, but just like liked the idea of what was going on there, but still kind of wanted to live my way. And I was actually dealing with uh, interesting uh, challenges in my life at that moment too. Emotional and substance abuse. Uh, as my time or my tenure in uh, Finger Morpho grew, I started to see the evolution of people and uh, of the organization and how we decided to uh, organize ourselves and the infrastructure, the electricity, the water, uh, how, how we managed everything seemed to evolve and our capacity to work together. And I started to grow a deeper understanding for myself and, uh, and every time I came back, regardless my transgressions against myself uh, or anyone else, um, I was always accepted and that had a large impact and it made me feel really comfortable and I started to kind of come to terms with um, having a little more compassion for myself as well and others around me and start to, and I, I started to realize that I wasn't as selfless as, uh, as I thought is the amount of work that goes into working together in community and harmony. That's interesting because I'm actually just coming near the end of my last five, six year plan. So I'm in the process of actually even contemplating what that is. And uh, the great thing is I don't have to kind of think or figure it out by myself. You know, through nomadic community, some of the people there, you know what I mean, that are also my friends and, and colleagues um, will help get together with me and uh, you know, create an atmosphere where I can kind of creatively reflect on what my last one was, where I came to, what worked, um, what's working, and, uh, and give feedback that I can eventually, you know, supportingly and supportively um, create a new one that may help me and give me a little bit of a structure on how I want to move into the next aspects of my life. Starting to believe that uh, regardless what my plan is, things are going to transpire in a certain fashion, but I do, do have to know which direction to step. So it's a very interesting opportunity, you know, like uh, definitely try it out, right? Like for anyone who's ever wanted to experience a complete paradigm shift to the reality that we're used to, you know, in the way that we create a bit and work together and relate to one another and relate to ourselves. Um, I believe the core program is a great, great opportunity. You know, it, it, it creates once again community. It creates again support, uh, support network for friends. You know, whether it be emotional or whether it be in your like ambitions and your passions for people to help you. And also, it gives you an opportunity to to bring to light some of the more interesting challenges that one's faced in their lives, you know, in a, in a, in a place, in a container, as you said, uh, that um, fosters love, mm. and loving kindness and acceptance, that we can start to learn to come to love and be a little more kinder with ourselves, and we can start to build a better relationship around ourselves uh, and with ourselves in community that we can then notice how the relationship with ourself uh, impacts the relationship with everyone around us actually and that's how we relate to the external world and nature as we experience it. And, uh, and taking the time in nature when nomadic community understanding the principles of permaculture can really allow us the opportunity to, if we, if, you know, as time goes on, from for my experience, to see how the natural order of things relates to us and our experience, you know, and we can notice that maybe a fruit tree <laughs> takes about somewhere between 8 to 15 years, depending on the fruit, you know, for, in order for it to be mature enough to even bear fruit. So these things that are, are that are present, that are here, they've got to go through their own natural cycle and their ebbs and flows before they're even mature enough to nurture its environment around us. And then in the meantime, just allowing it's a powerful experience, you know, like sometimes I believe that, like, <laughs> sometimes I believe I grew up there, you know, like that. Uh, as a part of me that, yeah, I grew up, you know, on the farm. I grew up like on a farm as a child. I grew up in the military, 
but there's a part of me that like actually had to go and grow up again there. Um, so that was a really interesting experience, you know, I spent four or five years there as if I was going to public school again for the first time. With a, <laughs> it's actually challenging to admit, yeah. Um, that was a pretty powerful experience, having to deal with actual nature, you know, the monsoon season and having be like a foot of water and, and things flooding and cabins and house structures blowing over and bonding together in the pursuit of just natural disaster on a small, subtle level, that was very interesting as well. Yeah, that's put it, I guess.